Well, I'm Aiden Yuzensky with WCTV, and I'm here with... Samantha Arango. And Jonathan Arango. And you guys are uh, the painters here for the mural. Yes. Um, so what are you guys doing this for? Um, well, it's a, a contract with uh, Main Street Wattsworth. They put out a, a call to artists. Essentially, they send out a, a, a call to the United States, and a uh, you know, handful of artists respond, and then they pick... Uh, whatever whatever they like best. Cool. And where are you guys from? We're from West Palm Beach, Florida. Wow. All the way from Florida, huh? Mm -hmm. So uh, how long are you guys here for to do this? Each mural probably takes about a month, um, more or less, depending on the scale and, yeah. Yeah. So we're, we're working on two of them. This is the first one. Uh, it's kind of a three-week process for this one, and then the other one should take right around the same. Is the other one here in Wadsworth as well? Yes, yeah. it's on Lyman Street. Awesome, guys. Well, congratulations. This is awesome. And Thank thanks for the, helping the community out and doing this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, we also work in a community format, and um, that's a, a really exciting part of this process because then it just gives anybody access to come and paint with us. So, we, we did a community event last night, and we must have had something like 300 people. Uh, so it's it's actually a quite simple process. It's a it's a paint by letter, just like the old paint by numbers, uh, because they're all triangle or triangles and taped up with a, just a really thin tape that becomes easy to know with where to paint. So we just show people the spots. They pick a triangle and then I just give them a color to color. In. Mm. Some some areas need a little bit of a touch up, but that's that's a very simple part. And do you just go at, at the end and touch up like what needed to be touched up? That's it. At yeah. the end, just a little touch up goes a long way. I mean, some areas like this need a little bit of a yeah. TLC, but for the <laughs> most part, it's just yeah, it's just cool to have yeah. uh, so many hands participate. We have two year olds. So. Yeah, and um, it'll be here for. It'll be here for forever, bro. Plus. Yeah. Do you have to put anything on it to keep it like weatherproof? Like, how does yeah. that work? So, uh, the quality of the paint is, is uh, the, the paint is top market stuff, and it already comes with a UV protectant. Uh, on top of that, I put a polymer that turns it into a sort of a hard, hard film, flexible, but uh, kind of like a hard plastic. Mm -hmm. uh, that adds another several years to it. And then on top of that, I put a, a top coat that's anti graffiti and also uh, UV protecting. So, so it's all good. I haven't been painting long enough to know how long a mural lasts. Yeah. But the first one I ever did is you know, it's standing the same way. Same how long ago was that? Um, 2014, I think. 2014, wow. Where was, where's that one at? West Palm Beach. West Palm Beach, yeah. in your home. Yeah, that's right, that's right. <laughs> that's awesome. Uh -huh. Our first community mural was 2016, I think. Uh, the mural's still standing and it looks it's perfect. Now, do you guys have like a Instagram or something with your murals? Yes, or? it's uh, uh, at uh, art of anon, art underscore of underscore anon, A N O N. All right, we'll link that for you. It's awesome what you're doing, guys. Yeah, thank you. Brings uh, different challenges. Yeah. This one has a lot of pores. 
so it requires a specific tension. The time of the year also matters too. Uh, uh, how long I'm, I can leave the tape before it starts disintegrating. Mm -hmm. And that has to do with humidity and temperature. Hmm. Uh, more like expansion and contraction. I figure if it's too warm during the day and too cold at night, then I only have a set amount of hours before it needs to come off. Wow. So I'm going to take it off right now so you can see. So when we originally got the call from the city, they wanted this wall to have a musical theme. So um, we wanted, they also referenced some of our previous murals, specifically uh, Flowers for Maria was a giant flower coming out of this box. And because it has the high contrast, it creates a lot of depth. So we wanted to kind of play off of that one as well as introduce a musical theme. So Albert Ayler is a jazz saxophonist from Cleveland, Ohio and his themes in his music are very uplifting and positive and uh, filled with love and that's really what our work is about. Our work is about um, how we're all interconnected at the deepest level. Um, so we felt that he best represented our work as well as the city that we were putting this work into. They also asked for us to do a secondary mural off of Lyman Street. So originally they had asked for us to do a drive-in movie theater kind of theme and um, I felt like there could be something a little more representative of ourselves as well as the city and kind of how we could create sort of a visual narrative between the two works. Mm -hmm. So we ended up tying both of the murals together. So this mural is the beginning of the second mural. So as, if you look at them as one piece, it's kind of one continuous piece. So um, Albert Ayler has a piece of music called Music is the Healing Force of the Universe. So that is the title of both the works together. This one is called Music Is, and the second one is called The Healing Force. So um, you'll see Albert Ayler playing this jazz saxophone. It turns into these beautiful native flowers. The flowers are continued onto the second mural, and then they burst into this beautiful red cardinal, which is a, 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 a bird uh, local to here. So um, it's really about how art is a healing force of the universe, and how community is the healing force, and music and really we feel that best represents ourselves as well as Wadsworth yeah. so well that is amazing the, <laughs> the way you guys did that and it's turning out really good and I can't wait to see it when it's finished so thank, thank you. you thank you so much
watching WCTV, Wadsworth Community Television.